this is James from Metrobots.co.uk. This is part 11 of Android 12. So I've basically um, replaced all of the legs with uh, these red parts. They were previously white. Um, I've now built linear actuators for every joint. Um, and I've quickly programmed it up to walk along. It's a bit hit and miss, but here's some video of the testing. So let's have a closer look at the mechanism here. What we've basically got here is a pair of actuators with uh, M8 steel bar and these sliding elements on linear bearings which slide up and down. Um, so basically I've got one on the back here which actu actuates the uh, thigh mechanism to go forwards and backwards and this one is for the knee and um, obviously there's another one down the bottom on the ankle which I've got blocks in at the moment so um, that it doesn't collapse under its own weight when it's switched off. So I'm still using RC heading gyros for dynamic stability. So there's one master gyro as there was in the earlier videos which is effectively a tilt switch to lock the timing for left and right motions. Then I have a number of these um, heading gyros here, one for the ankle and one for the hip and then one side to side for each of the thigh uh, servos so it can lean side to side and those gyros are just wired in line with the servo they're RC heading gyros or headlock gyros for helicopters so you literally wire them straight in line with the servo you've got another channel to set sensitivity and then that will the motion of the gyro will influence the position of the servo and that's how it stays stable so it takes quite a bit of trial and error to get the right sensitivity settings obviously the ankle there's um it's a high leverage point for the uprightness of the android so you need um basically a lower sensitivity than you do for the hip the knees currently don't have any um, dynamic stability so i've just gone with ankle and hip and the side to side motion as i say so I need to do some more tuning on that. Um, the actuators are also driven by these belts which I've got, so rather like a 3D printer. Um, I could only get 5mm belts in there because the previous approach was to use ladder chain and basically there isn't space there on each pulley to get, um, I guess I could get a slightly wider belt in, but the um, there are some constraints in the mechanism that was built for chain. so. Um, there's a bit of stretch in them, so I'd quite like to upgrade those to 10mm belts. I also think I can get um, the actuators in a smaller space. So I have one on the ankle, and I have um, another one, another pair back to back there for each thigh. So um, they're also quite inaccessible to change belts and things. I've had a couple of issues with the pulleys coming off and some things happening, but the, the servos are right in the middle there. So. I quite fancy a redesign of linear actuator also um, to make them a bit more streamlined and uh, with thicker belts or some stiffer mechanism. So the uh, thing you can see on the front here is the potentiometer which has been uh, taken out of basically the rotary pot from the inside of the servo. These are normal RC uh, hobby servos. The potentiometer for feedback has been taken out and put on the outside and I've turned that into a linear pot so they can measure the linear position of these actuators. So altogether it's a bit messy. Um, the motors are 15 kilogram per centimeter of torque with metal gears, so fairly hefty ones. And I 3D printed the sprockets for the belts. 
So it kind of works, as you can see, it's a bit wobbly and a bit unpredictable, but uh, obviously this is uh, part 11 of the video and this is Android 12, so you can check out my, video, uh, my videos and my website for xrobots.co.uk for the previous 10 Android projects. So basically the development goes on.